Okay, so we're going to talk about a formal Layer 2 standards working group, which has been formed as an EEA community project managed by OASIS, and we'll explain what that means. But first, I am Tosh Dienisch. I work at the Ethereum Foundation on ecosystem support, focusing on the enterprise ecosystem. So I work with the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, chair of the mainnet interest group, co-chair the EEA community projects project governing board, and this is Dan Shaw. I'm Dan. Uh, I've got a decade of uh, kind of bringing together uh, innovators and uh, the enterprise uh, help bring uh, Node.js into the foundation. Uh, been a, uh, a founder, done a lot of open source stuff, and I am uh, the co-chair of this. And uh, uh, Andre Dr. Andreas Freund is uh, uh, my co-chair, and uh, um, with a, a storied background, uh, he's the spec lead on the baseline protocol, and uh, as, as well as uh, my co-chair. Okay, so uh, you know, last talk really teed up why uh, you know, standards are, are, are useful, um, you know, to have a, a space and a, and a clearinghouse for uh, discussions and you know, a, a neutral space, right? Uh, there's so much innovation that's happening that uh, you know, we, we need to, um, you know, to come together and um, you know, our, our perspective is uh, in part for, mm, mm, the needs of the enterprise and in order to sort of uh, continue the, the adoption that, that we're seeing, um, layer two is essential. Uh, you know, so uh, putting in, in, into place those uh, standards and specification to enable uh, layer two to thrive. So why are we doing this as an EEA community project managed by Oasis and what does that mean? So. OASIS is a nonprofit technical standards body that was formed in 1993. They've done things like XGML and XML and uh, a lot of sort of technical software standards, sort of along the lines of IEEE or W3C, IETF. Um, so the Ethereum Community Projects was formed three years ago as an OASIS open project. So under the OASIS uh, standards body's or, uh, umbrella, what happened to my slides? By EF Consensus and the EEA. So uh, Ethereum Community Projects is a, you know, it's an OASIS open project, meaning um, it's open source, open standards development, and so it's, we, we chose OASIS because it's pretty low bureaucracy and it's a flexible standards process, unlike some of the other ones like the W3C and IETF that are a lot more sort of bureaucratic and cumbersome. Uh, OASIS is kind of more f Ethereum friendly in that it's l lower bureaucracy and, and flexible. So uh, some of the folks that are involved, uh, of course, uh, Tosh and I and Andreas uh, from the EF. Uh, we have uh, Accenture, uh, Boba, Matter Labs, uh, Metis, Offchain Labs, uh, Optimism, and Polygon. Um, and we'd love to have you. So you know, please come and join us. Um, Tosh? So what have we been working on? Um, there are lots of ideas for standards development topics in the Layer 2 ecosystem. The two that, we, that have gotten the most work done so far, uh, first is a canonical tokenless format, which, uh, so the, the, the issue is that most layer two projects have a list of tokens that exist on their layer twos and a way that they map to, uh, in many cases, a, a layer one token or a token on another layer two. And these lists are not maintained in any common standard format. So standardizing the way that these token lists are stored, it would be beneficial for interoperability. Uh, another project is address aliasing. So the, uh, the goal here is to be able to deterministically derive addresses of a digital asset or an externally owned account uh, on an EVM execution framework when it, moves, like, when it moves across chains. So if you know the origin chain of an asset, you should be able to deterministically derive the address of it on another chain. Um, we have many ideas for potential future topics to work on. Layer two transaction fee structures, layer two interface transaction, uh, transaction interface standards, um, one idea that's gotten some discussion is about cross-chain bridging of digital assets with residuals. So the issue there is that if you have uh, a, a token, uh, like an NFT representing a bond or um, something that gets royalties over time, something that gets payments over time, um, and you move that to another chain, it breaks the connection between the payments and the asset. So that's not a completely solved problem. There's been some discussion about that. We're, we would love to have more I ideas on, on that. And if you have other ideas for topics, uh, we'd love to hear them. We would love to have your involvement. Please get in touch. 
So uh, yeah, thanks a lot. We <clears throat> we meet uh, biweekly. Um, you can uh, you know hit us up on our, our emails. Uh, the GitHub is uh, github.com ea slash oasis l2. And uh, you know big big thank you and shout out to L2 Beat uh, at DevConnect. Um, you know we were you know we we gotten this uh, initiative off the ground, but uh, you know thanks to L2 Beat's uh, event at uh, DevConnect. You know, we were really able to, to you know, get a lot of the initiatives that you uh, just saw um, you know, set up and, and, and really move forward. So uh, um, yeah, we'd love to, to have you join us. Thanks. Thank you so much. Guys, you did it. The two of you were the fastest ones. <laughs>